Hello. Today I'd like to give my thoughts on the Celestron Omni XLP 102. It's a, a double refractor made by Celestron. It's 102 millimeter aperture, four inches, a thousand millimeter focal length. It's a long tube. Comes with a, either a red dot finder or a uh, one of those mechanical finders. They ship different ones with different things. Comes with a, a two inch focuser, a one and a quarter inch adapter, uh, a one and a quarter inch diagonal, a 10 and 25 millimeter eyepiece. It also comes with a CG for a mount, one of these things here. Although uh, it won't come with a motor like this one. It'll come with slow motion control. It has something unusual. There's three screws up here at the front, and you can collimate the objective lens to make it line up with the eyepiece. Don't try that. Don't touch it, because it takes special training and special equipment to recollimate one of these. If for some reason you're getting odd uh, views, stigmatism, stuff like that, send it back to Celestron and have them recollimate, re because they've got the knowledge and equipment to do that. But that is unusual for a, an inexpensive refractor to have the ability to recollimate like that. Has a dove bar, has a, a tube rings. The ones you, you'll get if you buy this are white. I replaced it with black ones. I also replaced the dove bar. Uh, hooks are fairly smooth. Let's get these rubber things for grip, I guess. When you're out in the dark and it's cold, you're wearing your gloves to make it easier to focus it. has a little lock here so you can lock the uh, focusing tube to keep it from going out and in. The CG4 mount is, in my opinion, a, an excellent media mount. It's good, it's solid, uh, it's got really, really strong uh, tripod. This thing gives fairly good views for a simple doublet refractor. The re that's the reason, by the way, that it has a, a thousand millimeter focal length. Uh, with 102 millimeter aperture, it gives it about a, a 9.2 field ratio, or uh, focal ratio, which will help in uh, reducing achromatic aberration. Won't eliminate completely, but it does help reduce it. Some. Yeah, as I say, it gives pretty good views. You, you can take pictures with it. Uh, the whole thing. I w when I priced it today, some places wanted six hundred for it, some six fifty. Assuming you bought the cheaper, the six hundred version, this mount costs four hundred dollars. That means this tube is only two hundred. And that's with the accessories. So if you like really big, long, awkward telescopes, that's a bargain. Something I've noticed, I, I tried using this for taking some photographs, and when it's balanced, and it's balanced way, way back here, like this, when it's balanced, and, you, and, it's, and the tube is extended to give it focus, and it's got a long, cool camera on it, so sometimes it delays. Of course, it wasn't designed to have a motor operating it. It was designed to use the uh, manually rotated around. But just in case you decide to get one of these for photography, once you got everything on there, it's going to be back in heavy. So be careful when you're slewing it around that you don't hit one of these legs. Oh, and that's at 70 degrees or higher. So if you're looking straight up at the top of the sky, 
you're liable to hit the leg because the uh, tube is real long. It weighs about nine pounds, the tube does. I tried using this on a light mount in the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI. I had it on there, I had it balanced and everything. I was going to put a, a, a counterweight in the uh, IP tray just to make sure it didn't, that it stayed balanced. So when I turned around to get the IP, the, uh, the uh, counterweight, the whole telescope fell over. So I wouldn't recommend using this on a light mount. It's not too heavy, but it is really long and it's kind of awkward in that regard. It's easy to come to max uh, magnification with this, assuming that you're, you're, you're maxing the magnification is twice the aperture, that's conservative, then twice 102 is 204. The 10 millimeter eyepiece and a thousand millimeter focal length will give you a uh, hundred magnification. Two times bar length, two hundred magnification. You're there already. Or if you want, put an I five millimeter IP in and you're there to start with. Uh, that, that, that's also good for photography because if you put a camera in here, it, it makes everything look real big. Uh, depending on the camera. Uh, a small sensor camera with a long focal, um, focal length really zooms in. And that's about all I have to say about this. I've used it for visual uh, work as well as photographic work. Works pretty well. Oh, when you subtract the 400, uh, for the mount, you have, you're paying 200 just for the tube and accessories. That's awful cheap. Awful cheap. And I found very few to none of, of uh, reviews on YouTube on this thing. So it may not be a real big seller. Uh, possibly because it's so big. Uh, the only reason I can figure out. So it's very inexpensive. You get a good media mount with it. So it's kind of a pretty good deal. Yeah. That's all I had to say about it. So until we meet again, happy trails.